The chairperson of the National Council of Western Armenia met with Hamlet Minasyan, director of Eskos Armenian office. The newly elected president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan, presented the one-year program of activities. Our wounds continue to bleed. Hachik Haikanyan. The representation of Artsakh in Yerevan no longer operates. Kyokh will be summoned to the Anti-Corruption Court. Ankara takes historical revenge with the Development Path Project newspaper. The 100th anniversary of the great poet Baru Sevak. On January 23, the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gvrezi Abrahamian, met with Hamlet Minasyan, the president of ECOSOX Armenian office. During the meeting, Armena Abrahamian and uh, Hamlet Minasyan discussed the future prospects on the peace process as well as the issues of peace and security within Armenia's borders. Hamlet Minasyan is the honorary consul of the island of Kingdom of St. Pan, Solidarity's land. During the meeting, Hamlet Minasyan presented Armena Abrahamian a commemorative medal named after Georg Chaush. The meeting held in a warm atmosphere of partnership after the exchange of cognitive information. New programs were discussed, which we will inform about it in the near future on Western Armenia TV. Hamlet Minasyan expressed his willingness to cooperate with the government of the Republic of Western Armenia as much as possible. On January 21, the session of the government of Western Armenia took place, chaired by the newly elected president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan. During the session, the lady president presented the government's one-year plan. Ms. Lydia Markosyan noted that February 1 marks the 104th anniversary of the creation of the Armenian Legion in memory of the Armenian volunteers who fell on the battlefield of honor. The Republic of Western Armenia is uh, preparing to celebrate the 104th anniversary of the establishment of the Armenian Legion. Soon you will have the opportunity to fully familiarize yourself with the government's one-year plan through the website of Western Armenia TV. On January 20, during the opening session of the first convocation of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Deputy of the National Assembly, Hachik Haikanyan, stated that an improvement memory harms the, our future. We continue to feel the deep pain of our people torn from our lands and scattered all over the world. Although more than a century has passed since the genocide, the historical trial has not been carried out. They did not face the past. The name of those who are responsible for the massacre against Armenians still remain as signs of victory in the streets and city boulevards. The voices of uh, hundreds of thousands of our compatriots who were subjected to genocide and killed on the roads of deportation we still hear in our ears. The psychological violence that we are subjected to while walking on these streets makes us speechless. It leaves no choice but to live in the shadow of fear, healing our bleeding memory and closely related to what kind of future we will build. The representative office of Artsakh in Yerevan no longer works. Former employees of the representative office also confirmed that the information. The reason for the closure is probably the same as the closure of other state institutions in Artsakh. Those who gather that the representative office have two targets, the authorities of Yerevan and Baku. The Armenian government planned to close this representation at the beginning of the January, the major rights. The commander of the military unit, Yerenix, the hero of Artsakh, Karen Jalavian Kyokh, will be questioned in the criminal case against the former commander of the Defense Forces, Mikhail Arzumanian. The case is being examined in the framework of a closed court session. On September 1, 2022, the prosecutor's office announced that the former commander of the Artsakh Armed Forces advisor to the Artsakh president, Mikhail Arzumanian, was charged with giving a retreat order to the personnel who liberated the strategically important Aradia Hill and adjacent combat positions during the Artsakh War 2020. Arzumanian was arrested on September 1 and is still in custody. The Greek newspaper Tanya reported that Ankara is taking historical revenge with the development path project which starts from the Persian Gulf and extends the, to the Europe after the attack describing the normal operation of the important Red Sea Straits. The road to development project described by Ankara's leader as the new Silk Road has been hailed as an important geographical 
balancing act following a text that paralyzed key Red Sea Straits. In analysis published under the title Geopolitik Domino Stones, the Greek professor Athanasius Platias drew attention to the strengthening of Ankara's position in the context of the corridor wars. The article notes that Ankara's development road project with stretches from the Persian Gulf port of Fo via the Iraqi port of Basra to Constantinople and then through Bulgaria to Europe, has already begun to be implemented after the attacks by the Iran-backed Houthis. In the analysis which recalls the opening of the Suez Canal in 1869 and the weakening of the role and significance of the Silk Road passing through Western Armenia, it is said Turkey is now taking historical revenge by downlink the importance of the Suez Chan Canal. Bayu Sevak, a poet who was very popular during his lifetime, loved and appreciated even today. He is healed, inspired, and fascinated with his works. Various and multi-content events will be held throughout the year on Sevak's 100th anniversary. Initiatives aimed at the popularizing and spreading the rich literary heritage left by the author. The basis of Sevak's text is also planned to perform a small theater performance with the participation of actor of Hamas Gain Theater, named after So Saxon, and in the evening in Yerevan at the Hamas Gain Theater, the play Man on the Shore will be staged, which will be included in the theater's schedule. On the occasion of the anniversary of the book, 100 poems was presented to the readers, the editor of which is Seva Gazayan. It was published at the initiative of the House Museum, the Sevak family, particularly his middle son, literary scholar Armen Gazayan, and the Armenian Educational and Cultural Foundation. This was all for today. Goodbye. Ay, ay,